Alright, welcome back to part two of my Disney DVD collection overview. Uh, we're just going to still stick in with just the animated films for right now. Next up, we have uh, The Emperor's New Groove. This is just the one disc edition. I know there's a really nice two disc edition out there, but I think I'm going to wait for it to come out on Blu-ray before I rebuy it. So there's the disc and all the inserts. And this can e I, I can easily rank this Disney film in my top 10 all-time uh, all favorite Disney movies. Uh, it's very funny. David Spade does a really great job as Cusco. He really does that arrogant thing very well. Uh, next up, we have the 25th anniversary edition of Fox and the Hound. Um, easily one of the saddest Disney movies, I think. It's just... Uh, well, especially the part where Todd is left out in the woods and... I don't know, that's just so sad. Uh, but there's the disc. And there we have that. I was kind of hoping for a nice two disc edition of this film. It's a really great underrated Disney animation. Uh, so, uh, But anyway, here next up we have another favorite of mine, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch is easily one of my um, favorite characters of all time, Disney characters. Um, I've had, I've actually had two uh, Stitch themed birthday parties. My friends know how much I love Stitch, so they threw me a, <laughs> a couple of them. So, but uh, anyway, uh, this is just again the one disc first, uh, first release that they did. I know they've recently re released a two disc edition, but for some reason didn't put out the Blu-ray at the same time, which I was kind of sad about, but Eventually it'll come, but uh, I'm just going to stick with this copy until until the Blu-ray is eventually released. But I love Stitch. He's awesome, especially when he does his Elvis impersonations. Alright, next up here we have... Alright. Um, this is uh, one of my all-time favorite... It is my number one favorite. It's tied with another movie, but um, anyway, it's The Lion King. And this particular edition is uh, it's the collector's gift set. It's uh, one of my favorite pieces that I own. It's definitely the pride of my Disney DVD collection, no doubt. Um, and it is also my favorite Disney movie of all time. And... Uh, as you can see, the box is empty. I took everything out so I can show you what all it comes with, but this is definitely one of my most prized uh, sets. First up, we have the DVD itself, and there's the case, the, the slip case, and... Here we have the, the DVD itself, complete with all its inserts and both discs. There we go. And what else? Um, it also comes with these are portrait drawings from the animators. And I pulled a couple out, so. If See what they, they're really nice. There we go. Zazu and Scar. There we have those. They're really, really nice. And then finally, this really nice. A companion book that tells the story of how the Lion King uh, was, uh, how they came up with the stories, and um, what it was like to how they, what they, what the process was of uh, putting it on DVD. And uh, I know it's kind of not, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I don't want to break the binding on the book, so I'm doing the best I can. There's the artwork is very, very nice. So, there's a few more pages. Hopefully you can see that. Like I said, I just don't want to crease the binding or anything on the back of the book. 
but again, all-time favorite Disney movie. I actually just, not too long ago, used my Disney rewards points online to, to I redeemed them for an original poster from when they re-released it uh, in theaters, I think back in 2002, I believe. Um, as much as I would lo uh, love to have the original, original one, I'm happy with that one for now. Um, but I, I'm hoping to get a frame for it, and I will show it in a video when I do. So again, I love The Lion King. And um, while we're on the subject of The Lion King, next up we have the two-disc special edition of the uh, the sequel, uh, Simba's Pride. Um, easily the best Disney sequel in my opinion. They were able to get, I think, just about all of the original voices back for the characters that they included. Um, and the songs were, I thought, as good as the ones that are in the first film. And the story's um, not a copy of the story they used from the first one, which I've noticed a lot of Disney sequels, pre it's pretty much the same story with just different characters, but they came up with a great new story. And uh, everything about this film is just very, very good and worthy of... The Lion King, in my opinion. So there we have... There we go. The two discs. And there we have the that film. Um, glad I picked this up when I did. So... Cause again, like I said, favorite Disney sequel. And we're going to be moving on to my second all-time favorite Disney movie. Well, this is also tied for first. Um, so, The Lo Little Mermaid and The Lion King are my two all-time favorite Disney films. So, and obviously Ariel is probably my favorite Disney princess. Well, she is. Not probably. She is. Um, so, there we have the inside with the complete with all the inserts and the two discs. So, I'm... And uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with all these stories, so I'm not really worried about giving a synopsis or anything, but... Little Mermaid. Um, next up we have... Uh, and both The Lion King and The Little Mermaid are Platinum Editions, obviously. And another Platinum Edition here, Lady and the Tramp. And then... Let's see. Oh, open it up. I hate those little snapper things. Um, again, all the inserts. I got lucky because I actually did have to buy this one used. Um, so I found it at FYE and I was happy that it had all of its inserts. So there's both discs. There you have the Lady and the Tramp. Sorry, I'm running out of room. I'm trying to find spots to put all this stuff. Alright. Next up here we have... Uh, Mulan. Uh, the two-disc set. Which I thought this was actually worthy of a Platinum Edition release. I think it's up to par with all the... With all the other Platinum Editions. I think this is a very good movie. It's got some great songs in it as well. So. Maybe someday. There we go, there's the um, book and then the two discs. There we have it. Move on. Maybe it'll get a platinum release if they release it on Blu-ray. Uh, next up we have Monsters, Inc. Very cute movie. With Mike Kwiatkowski and what's the other guy's name? Um, oh jeez, oh Sully. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've seen this one. I just remember the little girl always going Mike Kwiatkowski, Mike Kwiatkowski. <laughs> um, but anyway, it has uh, again all the inserts there, and I I do want to pick this uh, up on Blu-ray. I know there's a really nice four-disc Blu-ray edition of this, so. Hopefully soon I can get that. Next up we have Pocahontas. Uh, 
in elementary school, all my history teachers did not like this movie because all of us uh, <laughs> used this movie as a factual, saw it as a factual representation. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Um, but now, as a history major myself, I do see all the historical inaccuracies, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying uh, this movie. It's uh, it's really great. Uh, the songs, and uh, it's uh, got really uh, pretty beautiful animation. And uh, I love the, the little Percy the Pug and uh, Miko the Raccoon. And uh, I don't know, it's just a really good movie that may altogether not be historically accurate, but still uh, very enjoyable. Inserts, of course. And then the two discs. So. And last but not least, in the animated films department is the platinum release of Peter Pan. This was actually one I never did watch as a kid. I never got it on VHS or anything like that. This is one of the only ones I don't have on VHS, actually. Um, so, but I did, I wanted to pick it up um, just because I did want to see it and uh, I didn't want it to go out of print without me having picked it up, so. But uh, I did rewatch it after I bought it and I did enjoy it. Um, so there we have everything in there as well. So, uh, there we have <laughs> the end of my DVD, or my Disney DVD collection overview of the animated uh, films and the Pixar films. Uh, next up, I'm going to do the live action Disney films that I have. So I hope y'all will stay tuned and I hope uh, y'all are enjoying these. I'm just trying to think of new videos to do so I don't have like huge gaps in between so um thanks again for watching and i will see y'all with the next part